Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Real quick, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Thank you. Chapter 61 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. And they shall build the old wastes, they shall raise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Therefore in their land they shall possess the double. Everlasting joy shall be unto them. For I, the Lord, love judgment. I hate robbery for burnt offering. And I will direct their work in truth, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. And their seed shall be known among the Gentiles, and their offspring among the people. All that see them shall acknowledge them, that they are the seed which the Lord hath blessed. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God. For he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation, he hath covered me with the robe of righteousness, as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments, and as a bride adorneth herself with her jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud, and as the garden causeth the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. Matthew Henry Commentary on Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 to 3. The prophets had the Holy Spirit of God at times, teaching them what to say and causing them to say it, but Christ had the Spirit always, without measure, to qualify him as man for the work to which he was appointed. The poor are commonly best disposed to receive the gospel, James 2, 2 verse 5, and it is only likely to profit us when received with meekness. To such as are poor in spirit, Christ preached good tidings when he said, Blessed are the meek. Christ's satisfaction is accepted. By the dominion of sin in us, we are bound under the power of Satan, but the Son is ready, by his Spirit, to make us free, and then we shall be free indeed. Sin and Satan were to be destroyed, and Christ triumphed over them on his cross. But the children of men who stand out against these offers shall be dealt with as enemies. Christ was to be a comforter, and so he is. He is sent to comfort all who mourn and who seek to him and not to the world for comfort. He will do all this for his people, that they may abound in the fruits of righteousness, as the branches of God's planting. Neither the mercy of God, the atonement of Christ, nor the gospel of grace profit the self-sufficient and proud. They must be humbled and led to know their own character and wants by the Holy Spirit, that they may see and feel their need of the sinner's friend and saviour. His doctrine contains glad tidings indeed to those who are humbled before God. Verses 4 to 9. Promises are here made to the Jews returned out of captivity, which extend to all those who, through grace, are delivered out of spiritual thraldom. An unholy soul is like a city that is broken down and has no walls, like a house in ruins. But by the power of Christ's gospel and grace, it is fitted to be a habitation of God through the Spirit. When, by the grace of God, we attain to holy indifference as to the affairs of this world, when, though our hands are employed about them, 
our hearts are not entangled with them, but preserved entire for God and his service. Then the sons of the alien are our ploughmen and vine dressers. Those whom he sets at liberty, he sets to work. His service is perfect freedom. It is the greatest honour. All believers are made to our God, kings and priests, and always ought to conduct themselves as such. Those who have the Lord for their portion have reason to say that they have worthy portion and to rejoice in it. In the fullness of heaven's joys, we shall receive more than double for all our services and sufferings. God desires truth and therefore hates all injustice, nor will it justify any man's robbery to say it was for burnt offerings and that robbery is most hateful, which is under this pretense. Let the children of godly parents be such that all may see the fruits of a good education, an answer to the prayers for them in the fruit of God's blessing. Verses 10 and 11. Those only shall be clothed with the garments of salvation hereafter that are covered with the robe of Christ's righteousness now, and by the sanctification of the Spirit have God's image renewed upon them. These blessings shall spring forth for ages to come as the fruits of the earth. So duly, so constantly, and with such advantage to mankind, will the Lord God cause righteousness and praise to spring forth. They shall spread far. The great salvation shall be published and proclaimed to the ends of the earth. Let us be earnest in prayer, that the Lord God may cause that righteousness to spring forth among us, which constitutes the excellence and glory of the Christian profession. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day.